All right, it's about two months later. We're doing an update on the tank. You can see it's doing really, really beautiful. For those of you that missed the, um, the first videos, I'll put a link for you in the description so you can just check them out. But there's my Sunset Berry Haters Platys. They're doing so beautiful. They're a little shy now because we're putting um, Neon Tetris in the tank today. Been wanting to do it for a while, but I also I like the idea of first giving the fish the opportunity to acclimatize to the tank and to get used to it. So I first put in the Sunset Varieties Platys and they've been there for about two months. Wanted to give them some time to, you know, instead of acclimatize and get used to it. And I bought eight initially. Two died. And a lot of times, you know, I a lot of times I come across where, you know, where maybe somebody was keeping some fish and then the fish is died and they get very upset about it and they really blame themselves for it and they're like, you know, what did I do wrong? And it's important to remember that sometimes it's just stressful for them. And, you know, sometimes they will pass. So you can do your best. I've, you know, spoken about the nitrogen setup and the cycle and everything in those previous videos. But no matter what you do, there will unfortunately be casualties. They're a little shy now because, you know, um, I've put in this grass in today. Can't even remember what the right name is for them. But I've got three little um, Sunset Varieties Platys babies. And I thought I'll just put in the grass just to give them an extra bit of cover if they want it. But they've grown up quite a bit and they're doing really, really well. So today we're adding in our Neon Tetras. There's eight of them. And you always want to put in at least eight because, you know, they're very much strength in numbers. If there's too few of them, they start really stressing about it. So they've been in there for like a good 15, almost 20 minutes now. So we're going to release them and see how they are doing and normally um, you want to you don't necessarily want to put the fish in with the water that they came with you may rather take your hands and place them inside but I buy my fishes from the same really really amazing um, fish keeper George yeah in South Africa George Pets and Aquatics, so their water standards are amazing. They're really, really great. So that's the only reason why I'm releasing them with that water, because I know that I can trust it. Oh, there's one that got stuck. Oh, sorry, baby. There you go. Sorry, my baba. There you go. All of them release. Oh, they, they're all active and swimming right away. You know, there you go. Look at them. All alive. And you know what, also something with the background, the fish tank always looks best when it's got a, well not always, but it typically looks better when it's got a background, either blue or black. And there's a couple of things that you can do. Um, normally because this is one of those starter fish tanks, um, a 60 liter, so I don't know what that is in gallons, but um, it normally has like this foam at the bottom. And if you paint with say like, um, you know, like, like oils and stuff like that, it's not gonna it's, it's gonna sort of eat that away and you can use water paint but then you know obviously aquarium is a it's a it's a it's a it's a messy business let's look at aren't they beautiful so i just put a piece of um plastic behind a piece of plastic bag behind and it works brilliantly which is also really great for retaining the heat in the tank so those are my babies i'm just switching on the light now to show you but because they are fresh in the tank I'm actually going to switch the light off and give them just that opportunity to acclimatize to the tank first. But those are my little babies. Oh, you're so beautiful. Welcome home, my angels. And this, this make quite a good combination between the two. Sunset Beret displays, which are quite easy to keep, as well as Neon Tetras. So, happy fish keeping, everybody. Wishing you all the best. If you've got any questions or feedback or comments, feel more than welcome to put that in the comments. Let's please be kind. There seems to be a lot of unkindness that sometimes goes along in the fish keeping community. And that is just not cool. That is just not okay. You know, unkindness is never okay. So 
But if you got anything valuable, any feedback, anything to help anybody else, feel free to leave them in the comments. For those of you that are interested, I also, on the same channel, I don't have time for different channels, on the same channel, I do weekly tarot readings, so you can check that out, subscribe if you want to. And as I do more tanks, I'll let you know about it. Also, obviously, you can see there's a heater over there. These babies do need the heater. Um, but yeah, that's what we have. All the best. Love and light. Ciao.